If you're coming to the end of one quarter or trimester and are ready to start the next, it's easy. We're on the classes page right now. And as you'll see, I have a full set of classes we created for quarter one. If I select quarter two from this menu, however, you'll see it's empty. However, you don't need to recreate your class lists. Instead, let's go to the terms page. Here, I'll click on my current quarter, which is about to end. Next, I'll click Copy Term Classes. Below, I'll choose the next consecutive quarter to copy classes into. This checkbox, Keep Students in Same Classes, that's on by default, and that's how I want it unless we are starting a new school year, in which case I would uncheck this box. But we're just going from quarter one to quarter two, and the students will generally be in the same classes. So I'll leave that checked and click Copy Classes. That copied my entire class setup, along with students and a number of settings, into the next quarter. Now all I have to do is click on quarter two and make it active and submit changes. And that's now available to teachers to start entering grades. If we're done with quarter one, we should make this inactive and submit changes. That will keep the teacher's class lists from getting too long and hard to manage. Keep in mind that this copy classes process should only be performed between consecutive terms. In other words, don't copy from quarter one directly to quarters three or four. This copy process moves a number of settings forward, which can change over time. So in order to have the most current settings possible, just copy between terms, ideally the day before the next term starts.